Leo, this is your love reading for October 16th to the 31st. Keep in mind it is a general read, so elements may resonate, but if it doesn't, check your moon, rising or Venus signs. So starting out, I was immediately feeling as though you may have a choice between two individuals because we have the King of Wands in your environment and we have the King of Cups at the base of your spread. And I am getting different energies. There's a sense that someone from the past, it's almost like a choice of whether you want new love and a new connection or whether you want old and my hands are going like this so I do feel like for some of you perhaps you were dealing with a fire sign in the past or someone that had these qualities was very charismatic very attractive and it's almost as though you're I feel as though the new love is uh could be a water sign or at the very least has a more gentle emotional disposition now we also have for the oracle card reflect because I feel like there's a choice between one one or the other, and I feel as though I, I know this uh, swan is gold, but I almost saw it as black. I was just shown this swan as being black and this one's light. One has a much heavier energy and vibration and one's a lot lighter and purer in their intentions and their disposition. And with Get Wild, first of all, at the bottom of the Oracle deck, we had sacred sexuality. So I do feel there may be a lot of romance and passion kind of flowing for you during the end of October. But I also feel as though, I feel as though you're trusting your gut instinct is what I'm feeling. It's almost like your animal instincts or your core is giving you messages around who you want to move towards and what the right direction is. Because I do sense I do sense more than one energy around you, but it could also be that this past energy is still in your energy field. It's still lingering a little bit, but the fact you're showing up as a two of wands, that does denote that there's a choice to be made, that there's two, there's two paths. And at the core of the spread, we have the eight of swords in reverse, and I don't normally read reversals. So the fact it shows up reverse for me is significant and it's opposed by the knight of pentacles so in the past i feel like you were stuck you were stuck in fear and i feel like who you've been with in the past or your past relationship it almost i'm hearing turned you upside down turned your life upside down or just led you to be in a place where you couldn't find clarity I'm hearing it messed with your mind and your thoughts in whatever way that resonates for you. But it's almost as though you're seeing clearly again and you're really considering carefully who you want to either receive this pentacle from or give this pentacle to. There's a sense that momentum and movement is starting, but you're going to be very careful. And I feel like you're only investing with someone or things that have stability you're not really entertaining kind of flighty, passionate energy that almost leaves you more unbalanced than when you started. There's this need here to move slowly and allow the best opportunity to come to be. And with the King of Cups, I feel as though I do feel this is a new energy or a potential love interest. I do. And for some of you, you may not have met them, but I feel like at the very least, you know each other in some form. And I do feel this is someone who's not only balanced internally, but wants to emotionally invest with you and in you. There's a sense that this person has a lot to offer. Now, at the bottom of the deck before, I saw death the chariot, the page of swords. And this makes me feel, and then the four of coins. So this makes me feel as though there is someone watching you because I feel like whatever it was, it ended, you moved on and they're still watching you and holding tight to you, at least in the form of energy. There's a sense that that person hasn't fully released you and still feels something for you. Now with the fountain, I'm getting the sense this is all the abundance and opportunity flooding through you and your ability to create. I think you manifested whoever this is coming in. I think you wanted more for yourself and you wanted someone or something that was a lot more emotionally stable and balanced that could almost give or offer you what you deserve is what I'm hearing. Because with a nine of cups is the probable outcome. I do feel that whatever this is, this is what you've dreamt of. I do think it's very different to the past energy I'm sensing, but there is this idea that you are going to receive wish fulfillment. And I'm hearing it's because you had the willingness to close out this chapter and move on. 
I do feel, I don't necessarily feel that whoever this person is in this page of swords, I don't feel they're necessarily going to reach out. I feel like they're more watching you online or they're just wondering about you. You're featuring heavily in their thoughts, but I think you're kind of forging a new path and moving towards what you actually desire. But with the two of wands, you may still be feeling some, like some sense of oscillation, like you're moving back and forth. You're trying to figure out and discern which person or path is the correct choice for you. There's just this sense of still deliberating is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing in your low moments or when you're feeling a bit anxious or down, your mind may return to the past. There's just this sense of, I think you know in your heart which person benefits you and serves you, but there's another part of you that's almost pulled backwards. And it could be that this person energetically is having an effect, but I forgot here we had temperance in the past energy. But for me, this is you bringing your love and your nurturing back towards yourself. It's almost this this energy or essence of replenishing your emotional well-being, taking care of your mind and your spirit so that you could not only release the past, but you could attract and manifest better. Now, as I said with this King of Wands, I do feel this is past energy. I just get the sense that this is someone that's watching you that still has passion for you and is almost is almost still wanting to, I'm um, hearing exert an effect over you. This could be someone that's very smart or sophisticated with their words, almost like a slightly manipulative energy. I feel as though they're so used to having, you know, an influence on you or having some sort of role in your life. It's almost like they can't accept or believe that you would cut and sever ties with them. And with the three of cups, I feel as though, first of all, I'm drawn to three because I think there's you plus two options is what I'm hearing. You have two cups available to you. But the other thing is I think you're moving to a time that's a lot more joyful. And I do think it has to do with someone you've met or someone you will meet for some of you. But there is this sense that you're moving into a period that's a lot lighter and there's a lot more joy and abundance flowing. But yeah, it, it's still this sense that I think for some of you, you're still considering the past or at the very least, they're exerting an emotional effect. But finishing on the sun as the outcome, not only is this the happiest card in the deck, but it's beautiful. It's showing and denoting a time of abundance, positivity, joy. It's almost like you're being restored to this beautiful essence and energy because you've released ties or severed ties with history. There's very much this essence and energy of enjoying yourself. And for a lot of you, if you were kind of in this eight of swords energy in the past, I feel as though you're, I'm hearing gaining control of your mind and your emotions and more positivity is just flowing through you. It's, I just heard the sun's come out again. So I do feel as though there's this energy or essence around you of, exploring and enjoying and I do think this joy is triggered by your interaction with someone or it will be I just want to grab a card to clarify the king of cups okay so we have the page of coins and for me, this is a very stable offer and that's what I was sensing. I think this person has a really beautiful disposition and they're wanting to offer you stability, not only within love and the connection you both share, but in regards to perhaps a financial, like financial and career settings. I feel like this person is very abundant and very stable in regards to their home life, their work. Whereas I feel like what you've dealt with in the past, it may have been a person that was unstable across the board, unstable in their work, their career, everything. So we're just going to clarify temperance. Okay. 
So we have the magician and the fool clarifying temperance. So this was you making the decision to retract your energy and have a fresh beginning. For some of you, you may have been dealing with an Aries I'm hearing with this King of Wands and the Magician. And I'm also drawn to this person. I feel like someone's spying on you, which is what I was sensing with the Page of Swords. So whoever I think you've left behind to have this fresh beginning with, they're still like they're pulling on your energy in some way. And I do think they're hoping to manifest a new beginning with you. It's almost like they're trying to use their mind or their intent to bring you back. But for a lot of you, I just don't see that happening. I, I feel whoever this is in your life or whoever this will be, this is almost your future and this is the past. So there is this sense that you walked away and you healed and you've manifested a brand new beginning in love for yourself. So we're going to clarify the fountain. Okay, so the fountain two cards came out. We have the three of wands and judgment. So I think you called judgment on this past energy. And now with the three of wands, you're drawing in exactly what you want. And you're manifesting very well. Like with this magician, I do feel you're very powerful at the moment, Leo. And you're able to manifest your intentions, your desires. And I do think you're calling judgment on any lingering thoughts or emotions tied to your past. Because for some of you, with this three of cups I was seeing and the two of wands, I still think this person comes to mind or plagues you a little bit. There's still a little more healing or clearing that needs to happen. So I'm going to clarify the nine of cups. Okay. So the nine of cups is clarified by the nine of pentacles. So I'm seeing this as you needing to be single for a period and leave behind the past and past energy and work on yourself, your confidence, your abundance, your career, your stability in order to receive this wish fulfillment. Because I feel like whoever this is, they're a match for everything you've become now. But you almost had to leave the past behind to get to this vibration. And for a lot of you, I am feeling and hearing that that person left you with this eight of swords. I feel like that person of the past left you so kind of, I'm hearing the word cafuddled, like confused. There's just this sense that they do something to your mind where you couldn't see yourself clearly and you couldn't think clearly. So it's almost as though as you retreat from that energy and retract, you're able to stabilize yourself and your own energy field. So we're going to clarify the two of wands. Wow. So we have this star that came out to clarify the two of wands. And immediately I'm feeling as though this is what you're heading toward. You're heading towards a beautiful future and you're manifesting this because you chose to walk away. It was your confidence and belief in yourself that helped. I also feel as with this nine of coins, since you left the past behind, you're shining more brightly. Your energy field has almost, I'm hearing you've ascended spiritually you've experienced a shift or a boost in your own kind of power your own sense of self and what you want to create in the world because you are willing to release that energy now i'm just going to clarify the king of wands Okay, so the King of Wands is clarified by the lovers. So for some of you, it could be vice versa. It could be that for some of you, I feel like you may have dealt with like a watery person in the past and you may be attracting a fire sign. But for others of you, I feel the reverse. You were with this fire sign and you're attracting this King of Cups because with this lovers, yet again, it denotes a choice. So I do think for some of you, this two of wands energy and this three of cups, you have a choice between the new and the old. There is this sense, but the fact that the King of Cups came out with the page of coins, for me, this is fresh energy. 
it's definitely someone who's coming towards you or you've already met that has a really kind of balanced energy. They're very stable. And I just looked at the bottom of the deck and we have the emperor. So for me, the emperor is representing this king of cups. Whatever this or whoever this future person is, if you've met them already, there's a sense that they're able to give to you in a, in a way the person couldn't in the past. So very much this sense that you've manifested this abundance and this blessing through severing ties with the past. But for some of you, you still have a choice and perhaps you haven't yet gained clarity or for some of you, you may not have met this new energy yet. So you will face a choice of whether you want to fully release the past because I was sensing a little bit of energy of indecision. But I do think for a lot of you, this is your future. This is what you're moving towards and this is the energy that I do think is not only more stable, but more loving. I see that as really pure love. So that's all I have for you, Leo. If you enjoyed the reading, please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.